your two spares. Awesome. There's the one, that, the new one that stripped because okay. the hole ain't lined up. That's all your. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now we got kind of a unique place here. Got a rehabilitation center. They've got an indoor pool here that we're gonna go in and change out a bunch of screws in their little grates. But during this video, I want you to pay attention because I'm gonna teach you a little bit about differential pressure and I'm gonna talk a little bit about work diving, commercial diving, and when you should worry about differential pressure and some precautions that you should take but then I'm gonna explain why I don't worry too much, especially on a job like this, and I'll kind of explain how Delta P and differential pressure works. All right, guys, let's go underwater here and let's see if we can replace the screws in these grates. And I have made a video similar to this many, many years ago about Delta P or what differential pressure is. Basically, if you've got uh, two sides of a system, if you will, you got a high pressure side and a low pressure side. The, um, the high pressure side is always gonna put more force uh, on an object going through a smaller opening than what the, the low pressure side is here. So there's actually more pressure on the the upper side of these grates than the lower side of these grates and uh, an object or a person could technically speaking get stuck to these grates now one thing that you'll notice here is I never directly get on top of these grates I always stay on the outside as I'm replacing the screws here and it obviously keeps me safe from Delta P but I want you to look at the grates and hopefully as I move around throughout this you'll see just how large these grates are there's a reason they're large enough even if I was to swim on top of this grate lay down with my belly my entire body covering up the center of that since the grates are larger than me more water can move around me and go through that grate itself and I can very easily even if I was to get stuck on the grate I can very easily just simply swim or pull myself away from it so that's one of the cool things about these big grates is even though Delta P is still a serious thing it's something that we've got to worry about it's not something that I'm too concerned Normally, on a job like this, I would ask the facility manager or the aquatics director, whoever, to shut the pumps down just for my safety. But in a situation like this, it's not that big a deal. Another thing that I want to kind of discuss when I do jobs like this, I actually overweight myself. And as you can see, I'm not even stuck to the grade there, but um, I typically overweight myself. So the equipment that you guys saw in the previous video, that's exactly what I'm wearing. I've got a heavy steel tank. I have about an extra 10 pounds of lead just to hold me on the bottom so that I can manipulate the screws and actually work and do exactly what I'm doing here. Um, and we typically never ever want to overweight ourselves, but I'm going to actually speed the video up as I'm talking about this. You never want to overweight yourself uh, when diving. In a work scenario, it's a little bit different. There's other precautions that I've uh, got here or I've took just so that I don't get stuck to the bottom. One, of course, I'm wearing ditchable weights. If you are going to overweight yourself, always wear ditchable weights. Number two, I'm in five foot of water. All I got to do is stand up if something happens. And then, of course, my buddy, he was directly at the surface as well. He can always, if I signal down there, hey, there's an emergency, he can always jump in and grab me. So there are times when being overweight is not that big a deal. I will be specifically making a video on that in the future, and I'll kind of show you how to calculate that as well. Now I'm gonna finish up this job here because we are uh, replacing all the screws here. There is one screw that unfortunately I was unable to replace, and I had to report that to the facility here. Basically this screw, the hole of the bracket itself that the grate mounts to, and the hole of the grate simply does not line up. And as you can see, I'm having to kind of wedge that grate over to get it to line up and it just simply will not line up for me. So uh, it's just one of those things occasionally you can't always get all the screws in. But the good news is I was still able to finish the job minus this one screw and the facility was very very happy with it as well. But yeah guys you don't necessarily have to be scared of Delta P if you do work like this. As long as you understand how it works, understand the purpose of the grate and you know where not to put your body, you're going to be perfectly fine. Like I said, these pumps are running and there's absolutely no fear at this point of me getting stuck to them or anything like that. And yeah, once again, I am overweighted and that's just to help pin me to the bottom.
bottom as I'm doing this, but there's other precautionary measures that I took to uh, to help me out. And like I said, one of those precautionary measures is I'm five foot seven. I'm only in five foot of water. Number two, yes, I'm overweighted, but I do have ditchable weights on. And then of course, number three, my backup diver or my dive buddy is actually up on land. And all I've got to do in an emergency is simply signal to him. He can jump in and grab me if need be and pull me up. So, but uh, but yeah, this is something we do quite a bit of. We do a lot of uh, repairs to liners. We do uh, great replacements. In this case, we're just replacing all the screws and things like that. Um, but I wanted to show you this because this is a great opportunity to show you what Delta P can do and where even you just swimming in a swim pool where you can come across Delta P and it's something you want to be aware of. Just understand, grates are designed. They're large enough and they're designed to still allow water to go around your body and not actually get stuck. Let me show you a quick example of what Delta P can uh, happen if you don't have enough holes for where that uh, water to actually escape from. So as you see guys, Delta P is not something that we really mess around with. However, it's not something that you should just absolutely freak out over. It's not something that you should uh, uh, fear completely, especially in a swimming pool or something like that. I think our previous video, a couple, couple people got a little uh, misunderstood about how Delta P works and things like that, but it's not something that you should really, really have to concern yourself with uh, when underwater because, like I said, the grates are designed for your safety and to, of course, prevent anything like that from actually happening when you're underwater. But that one that was missing is replaced. But I figured out why it's missing. The strip, so if this is your grate, the strip that the grate mounts to, that line, that hole is not lined up. So what I was having to do is pry up on it to get the line. And the threads in the bottom, not the threads here, but the threads that this screws in are not even threaded. It's not even been threaded. So you see what it's doing to the screw. That's one of your new ones, and you see what it's doing to the screw. That's why it's missing, because that hole wasn't even prepped right. Does that make sense? So there's your two spares. There's the one, the new one that's stripped because the hole ain't lined up, and that's all your old ones. And you're done. There you go, guys. Very successful job. We got all the screws replaced in the grate for them, and they're back and going again. And in just in case you're wondering why we have to do that, the county where that hospital is located or that rehabilitation center is located, they actually require them as a commercial facility to replace those. It's an ordinance or it's some type of uh, building code that they have to replace that once a year. So we'll be going back to help this company out again or this little center again to replace those each year. But yeah, I hope you guys learn a little bit more about differential pressure or what's known as Delta P. And yes, we have done a video on this in the past. And I, in that video, I kind of made it all doom and gloom. I wanted you guys to understand, this is something that you can overcome. There's a reason that grates are built the way they are. And it's not something that you have to be afraid of, uh, but you do need to have knowledge of it as well. And like I said in earlier in the video, those grates, I'm a lot smaller than what those grates were, so it was very easy for me not to get stuck to that. But we do the same thing if we're diving near an intake or around a dam or something like that, then by all means, that's why they are designed so that we don't get stuck up on there. Uh, I will be making a video too in the future about overweight or being overweight. And I want you guys to understand there are times in the commercial side of scuba that we do overweight ourselves. Just like in this video, I was completely overweighted. I had probably about 20 pounds on just to pin me to the bottom, but there was plenty of safeties put in place. I did have ditchable weight. Obviously I could stand up. I'm five foot seven. That was a five foot pool. Uh, also had my backup uh, man there. All I had to do was signal to him. He could have jumped in and pulled me up. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can, as quick as I can as well. But I'm going to go ahead and jump off today. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.